I want to I want to welcome everyone here to the uh, celebration of the Maddie Fund's 10th year anniversary. And as you look around the room, you can certainly believe that uh, Maddie's spirit is here and the children that are here. And the Maddie Fund for the past 10 years has been all about children and young adults. So uh, certainly the audience here this evening reflects that. Um, at this time, I would like to call um, uh, Larry Fish, who's the uh, chairman of the Maddie Fund uh, Board of Directors, uh, to say a few words. Larry. Good evening. On behalf of the Maddie Fund's Board of Directors, I want to thank you for joining us for this 10th year celebration of the Maddie Fund, how far we've come from the kitchen table. <laughs> Who could have imagined that the loss of a five-year-old boy could have such an impact on families 10 years later? The loss of young Maddie Saravo in 2003 has been very painful and emotional for the Saravo family but they've turned that pain into positive energy to help others. Their goal from day one was to put a smile on the face of epilepsy. And boy, did they really succeed. Thank you, Deb and Rick, for 10 years of positive energy. I want to thank all of you for your support and generosity over the last 10 years, which has enabled the Maddie Fund to help so many families dealing with epilepsy. Your loyalty, support, and generosity has helped us accomplish the following things. We've built Maddie's Place Playground for children of all abilities at Maddie's Preschool. We've awarded over $100,000 to research on epilepsy, most of which has remained here in Rhode Island. We've awarded several annual college uh, scholarships to children with epilepsy every year. We've created Camp Maddie, a therapeutic horseback riding camp, which has grown from a summer camp to an April vacation camp at two different horse farms right here in Rhode Island. We've hosted numerous workshops and programs for parents, nurses, doctors throughout the years. We've expanded our support group meetings, which first started in Wakefield, and now are in Wakefield, Warwick, and Lincoln. Imagine that, north of the tower. <laughs> We've helped distribute some 20,000 copies of my Ma friend Maddie's books to school, both in English and in Spanish, and to hospitals and doctor's offices throughout the country. We've, we've been named best nonprofit in Rhode Island by Rhode Island Monthly Magazine. We've been featured in Family Circle Magazine in January of this year. In 2012, Rick and Deb were Health Heroes Award by the WebMD Online Magazine. Again, thank you for your continued support and dedication to the Maddie Fund. I'll now turn over the podium over to Dr. David Mendelbaum. Uh, so there's nothing I'm sure kids want more than to hear people talking. Yeah, <laughs> this is such a great thing. So um, I, uh, <laughs> he knows, okay. So it's not a surprise anymore. Dr. Gaitas, please. Okay. So, um, So, so I, you know, it's very interesting. Whoa. I didn't realize because uh, February first is the tenth year I came uh, to Hazard Children's Hospital, and uh, I didn't realize the timing that way because John joined a year later. But I guess you got started actually before John came over. Um, as as everybody here in the room now knows, uh, the uh, Saravos are t are taking advantage of this celebration of their tenth anniversary of the Cervati Fund to honor Dr. Gaitanis, who's been an integral part of their lives and the Serrano Fund for the past 10 years. Um, I did, I had an eye doctor appointment, 
so my pupils got dilated, so I printed in big print. And then I look around the room and I'm saying, again, everybody wants me to do this. Uh, I'm not gonna. Um, I, I'll show it to you later. I was thinking, I was thinking about, you know, how to think, you know, what we think about John, you know, that he's brilliant, you know, of course, but a lot of brilliant people, you know. Um, that he's a conscientious, that he's got a conscientious physician, yeah, great, but you know, is there anybody in this room who doesn't have, you know, a conscientious physician? Fortunately, we're blessed with that. Um, I, I was thinking what, you know, John stands out, and if, if I had to pick one word to describe John and pick it out of all the things, and I thought then again what one word would people would use to describe me, and I'm going to ask you to keep it to yourself, but if I had one word to describe John, I, I loyalty, loyalty. And the reason I think about that, <laughs> I can't think of how many times John has mentioned or told a story about his getting together with or speaking to a friend, and it's someone that he knows since grade school. Or, and he now gets together with their kids, with his kids. Uh, John is not only not reluctant to talk about it, he actually openly talks about his New Jersey roots and his going to Rutgers. Uh, my, my wife appreciates that. She still has a 908 area code. She, she kept that when we relocated from New Jersey. But he's very invested in Rutgers and, and, and his, his Jersey roots. Um, and, uh, and, and, the, and, and that just plays into everything because what I think everybody in this room is cognizant of is his loyalty to the patients he takes care of and the people that he works with, and of course specifically to the Saravos who met John in you know what can only be described as the most tragic and horrible circumstances ever, and yet found him to be a, a good and true and loyal friend who has been with them since that terrible period and through uh, these wonderful accomplishments. So, uh, and, and, I, and I, you know, also, who takes their father to uh, uh, AAM meetings twice, once to Hawaii? You know, so, I mean, it's this devotion and loyalty uh, to recognize how important it would be for his dad to see him give a presentation. Uh, he, he actually did. He took his dad to AAM meetings with him on two separate occasions. One was to Hawaii and gave his dad just the most, what, what more does a father want than seeing his son speak in a national meeting? And, and this was just about two years ago before his dad died. So this is a loyal, devoted, <clears throat> friend, servant, child, uh, father, uh, doctor, and, and as I say, overwhelmingly uh, devoted and loyal person and deserves all the accolades. And uh, congratulations to you. And uh, I thought there was a plan. Yeah, there is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> At this time, we'd like to present uh, Dr. John Gaitanis in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service to the Maddie Fund and to all the children touched by epilepsy, uh, from, certainly from the Maddie Fund. Uh, but uh, originally, we had started a, an organization within the Maddie Fund called the Maddie Fund. Society of Angels, and now uh, Debbie will pin him with a Society of Angels pin and this plaque uh, to be cherished by him in his office. and my wife for keeping this all from me. Uh, <laughs> Emery. <laughs> Emery, this was very much a surprise. Uh, when I saw Dr. Schomer pulling in, I knew something was going on now. Uh, but, you know, I think it's, I, I, the award means a lot. I think what is more important is always to acknowledge how important uh, May 11th, 2003 was. And I can't, <clears throat> honestly, I can't, to this day, I still can't really talk about that time without getting tearful. So I apologize for being emotional. 
Um, but it, you know, it was a very difficult time, and from then has come so many great things. So I have to keep it short because I think when I think with that tenth year, it just brings back such a flood of very very strong memories to me, and how much Maddie meant. And it's really from his love that brings everyone together, and I think that's what's that's what's helped uh, so much through that really difficult time. So thank you. for me to see all the children with their smiles and the parents so happy to see their kids having fun. It is very special. Maddie loved playing the museums and to see the kids doing that tonight really brings me much happiness. So I hope everyone has a good evening and John, thank you so much for all that you do for us and continue to do for the Maddie Fund and for the families. You are very special, and I told your mom tonight, she's very, very lucky to have you, and we are as well. So thank you. And everyone, go have some refreshments, and let the kids play, and let's all have fun. Yeah.